what's going on everyone? I have not done a video in a very long time. It's probably been about a month. Um, busy, busy COVID sucks. Um, just been busy in the shop. Keeping everybody indoors, blah, blah, blah. I've been fishing quite a bit actually. Um, buddy and I went to Michigan for a week, nine days, something like that. Um, went to Lake St. Clair and smallmouth fished, uh, cracked a bunch of smallmouth. I think we had like 300 fish, 400 fish, something like that. Um, testing some new baits, testing a um, new something, something that I am help developing. Um, that should be out hopefully this summer. I'm hoping to get the final prototype, finalization of this product. Um, hopefully soon so we can kind of pass off and say all right this is good let's go let's put it put it into production let's make it roll get it into your guys hands because everybody's been hounding me and this company about it for the last let's say 18 months to two years since they discontinued it uh, years and years and years and years ago so I've been working on that it was awesome you guys are gonna love it hopefully so this video I've got a little bit of a problem. I love frog fishing and I've got a, an obsession with frogs. So I'm going to show you the collection of um, frogs that are currently available, stuff that is not available, that's really gone up in price and really expensive. Um, but I'm going to go through what I've got and what I'm using currently right now on my two rods. As you can see, I have a massive frog collection problem issue. It's a great problem to have. Um, you know, this is my frog box. Starting off with the second generation True Tungsten Mad Maxes. I've got a massive collection of them. They no longer make them. They haven't made them in probably a decade or more. Um, I've got black and blues called Bluegrass. These are extremely soft, walk really well, do not sink. Um, the way that they made the plastic, it's porous, so it's got holes and air pockets, all that kind of stuff. It does not sink. I've got blacks and reds. I've got um, grapes of wrath. It's like purple, brown, blue. I've got sweet revenge. It's a black, red bellies. Um, I mean, I've got probably 40 or 50 of them. I got sexy. These are going for like 70 bucks on eBay per. I've got the red and whites. Um, pretty much all the colors. I've got bags of, you know, out of box, brand news. These are actually first gens. They are stiffer. Let me see if I can know. Uh, so here's a second gen. Really soft. Really, really soft. Let me see. Here's a first gen. It's a stiffer plastic. Um, so the, the, the first gen is great if you want to use them for pre-fishing. Um, the hookup ratio is, I would say, far less than the second gen just because it's a stiffer, um, harder rubber plastic. So it's great for pre-fishing. You're not going to hook up as much, so you can kind of gauge on where the fish are. Then you have the second gens, and you barely touch them, and they are super soft. Um, extremely durable as you can see this is a big sexy I've probably caught 200 fish on this one um, still going still has a weight in it uh, another one that I've used the feet are completely gone it is completely thrashed line tie somewhere hidden in there another big sexy that's completely thrashed uh, this one doesn't even have legs on it. Completely thrashed. I've got one over there on my, my desk. Completely gone. Um, great, great frogs. Uh, you're just really hard to find, and when you do, they're really expensive. Um, I've got some old scum frogs here that I use like up on the river and stuff. I, I kind of use them. They kind of just stay hidden. Um, don't use them a ton. Um, I've got... Man, I can't remember who makes this. This is a hard frog. It's plastic, hard, floats, walks with the skirt. It's got the double hook in the back with weed guards. Pretty cool bait as well. Around thicker, uh, 
thicker grass and thicker cover, lily pads, stuff like that. Um, this is a KVD that I painted in Summergill. Pretty thrashed. Still works, but uh, it is completely beat to crap. I've got a couple Swamp Donkeys from Reaction Innovations. Very similar to the Teckles. It's pretty much the same bait, but that is a Swamp Donkey. Um, then I've got some like just generic stuff that I picked up just to try out. Um, another KVD. I think that's a KVD. Pretty good frogs, a little heavier, a um, little bit denser uh, rubber plastic to them, but they're still really soft. Great frogs as well. Um, another one in the frog family that I love is the Jackal Cavaccio. You can tell this one's uh, seen some uh, love to it. I mean, teeth marks all on it. Walks really, really well. It's a popper style. Um, it's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit longer frog. Awesome bait. Uh, you know, it, it's with the walking. That's the white one. That's the black because that's pretty much what I think you need is a white and black frog. Super soft, durable, doesn't really fill up with water, walks well, pops well. Uh, very nice frog. Next up is going to be the Jackal Iobi. Great frog as well, but I think this is a better open water frog. Um, as you can see, the uh, hooks are a little above the plastic. So snag, it's, you know, you're going to get a little higher ratio on the snags just because it's a little higher. Um, I've got another one here, the Jackal Iobi as well. It's in package. I haven't opened it up yet, but the hooks come up a little bit higher on the plastic. Teckle, this is the, what is this? The, I don't know. Oh, the Sprinkers. I haven't really used these a ton. Uh, they're pretty cool. It's kind of a whopper plopper frog style. Um, it's a neat bait. I just I haven't given it enough time. I'm so used to throwing like the other walking style big frogs um, that I haven't given that a, a, enough time. Finesse frog right here. This is the Depth Slither K. Awesome frog. It's got a uh, like rabbit hair on the tail. This is an extremely nice frog. They're like 19 or 20 bucks. Walks extremely well. Center belly weight, so it's more of a center walk instead of a outer walk. Um, I haven't really had any issues with the, the tail. Uh, great hookup ratio. Super soft, really nasty sharp hooks. Great frog, this is more of a finesse frog. Again, I've got white and black. Next frog that I'm using is the Nori's NF60. Super soft. What you gotta understand is a lot of these Japanese companies uh, they will make their hook to fit around their frog opposed to um, a frog and then just putting a generic hook on it from like Gamagatsu or some other third party company. This is a Guggen frog. It is, it's quite stiff. I mean, to be honest with you, I haven't really thrown it yet. Um, just personally not a fan of the brand. Um, but it's pretty stiff. I mean, the rubber is pretty thick. It's pretty stiff. It's not nearly as, as soft as this. I mean, this is probably 200% softer than the, the Guggen Frog. Um, I'm going to throw it, though, just to see how it is, see how it walks, and see how durable it is. Um, I kind of like this right here to uh, block the hole and keep the, uh, the hooks tight together. Um, but the Nori's NF60, great frog. This is what I currently have on right now. I've got a couple different colors. I got just the white bottom, um, black. And then I've got some uh, Live Targets Super Soft Frogs as well. They tend to hold a little bit more water than a typical frog. But that is my frog obsession. Yes, it's ever all of my frogs are on the uh, trash can. But that is it. I've got the, uh, the Jackal Kara here. Awesome frog. Talked about it a ton. Killer finesse frog. This is my finesse frog. And then I've got the uh, the Nori's NF60 bubblegum pink on that one. But yeah, so they do have a frog problem, but it's awesome. Hopefully, uh, smash that thumbs up, guys. Got some new stuff coming in here in about two weeks. So we will uh, talk to you guys later.